Hi artists, today we're going to create a clay pig just like the one in the painted pig. Pedro was the little brother who wanted his own pig just like his sister. Your materials will be salt dough or you can just use play-doh. You might need some things like a plastic fork and a knife, a straw, a pencil, and also um, a little cup of water, a little tiny cup. First thing is I need to create a bunch of little spheres so that I can have one for his head, one for his body, and four for his legs. I'm going to use the plastic fork to scratch and to also to rough up the surface of the clay. Um, I'm going to add some eyes with the straw or um, I can use my pencil and just use the point of a pencil and I can add some nostrils to the snout with the pencil. And if his eyes are not big enough, you can make them wider with a pencil point. Now for the body, we're gonna have to add four legs and of course the body is going to be much bigger than the legs so create a huge ball of clay and you want to add a little dab of water to the legs which are just a smaller ball of clay and you want to scratch them and add a little dab of water and that helps them to stick together and you wanna put a little bit of pressure on them to squish them together. Now I'm gonna do this for all four of my piggy's legs. Now I'm going to create a cinnamon roll for the tail. Now what I mean by a cinnamon roll is I'm going to take the clay and make a spiral with the clay. So I have to make a long skinny uh, rope of clay and then I'm going to roll it into the shape of a cinnamon roll. And I still need to add just a little bit of water and scratch it up too. So you see here, I have a nice spiral for my piggy's tail. And I need to scratch one side of it so that way I can stick that to the body of the pig. And I'm gonna scratch where I'm going to attach the cinnamon roll to his body. So I'm gonna add just a little dab of water. And I might need to add a little bit more water because it's gonna fall off. Now, the last part of my pig is the ears. I need to make two teardrop shaped ears. And I'm not gonna have his ears sticking up because I don't want them to break off. If your clay cracks, that means that it's too dry and you need to add some water to it.
Remember to scratch the ears and then add a little dab of water. Now I'm going to scratch the body of the pig and add the head. And that is it. I'm going to add the head to the body and my pig is finished. I do have to let it air dry for a couple of days. All right, now I'm going to add one little penny for decoration. And there is my little painted pig, my clay pig. It's not painted yet, but I will paint it when it dries. <laughs> 